Hey everyone, my name is Mike, welcome back to Dying Light. In the last part, Dr. Zero was taken by Rise. We tried to rescue him, but we failed, and we escaped from Rise's compound in the process. And now Jade has got Dr. Zero's research files, all his notes and stuff, and she's going to take him to Dr. Camden, who's in Se Sector Zero. And that is the most dangerous place in the city, Sector Zero, and there's only one way of getting in, and apparently the guys inside the building below us are the only ones who know how to get in there. These guys are called the Saviors, so we're going to jump inside this building and see if they can help us. What do you want? I'm looking for the Saviors. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm one of Brecken's men from the tower. I don't care where you're from. Get your ass out of here or I'll stop being so fucking polite. Listen, I know you're smuggling people out of the slums. There's a girl who came through. Jade? I think you better get the hell out of here. No, just listen. I cut Rise up and now his whole goddamn gang is after me. I could use some cooperation here. You? You're the one who chopped Rice's hand off? Yeah, and now I have to get to Sector Zero. What's your name? Crane. Well, Crane, you're in for some heartbreak if you think going to Sector Zero will get you off Rice's shit list, but wait here. Alright, sounds like they might be helping us then. I'm waiting. I got a guy here who claims he's the one who took Rice's hand off. Crane. Yeah, that's what he said. You? Really? Are you sure? Huh. Okay. Right. Come here. Okay. We'll get you to the other side. Right when? Right now. And what about payment? What you did to Rice, that's more than enough payment for us. Go to the collapsed tunnel that led to Old Town. Knock at the door that leads to the sewers. Someone will take good care of you. Will do. Thanks. Nah, man. Thank you. So it looks like we're going to be unlocking a new area of the map right now. I didn't actually know that the game would extend any further. It's like new content. That it must be, right? If we're going to a new place. So let's head towards this um, tunnel. The sewer tunnel that the guy told us to go to. Alright guys, we've got to make our way to the end of this bridge right there, and it's, it's broken there, so I think we can jump from this rooftop over to the scaffolding, and then make our way to the centre of the bridge, hopefully, and then we'll make our way down the bridge. Yeah, okay, we've got a little ledge we can climb here, quite easy to get onto. Right, let's just do some car hopping. So there's a tunnel at the end of this bridge, I think. Which leads to, um, I think he said sewers, right? But it'd be weird if it was sewers because we are on the top of a bridge. It wouldn't lead to the ground, would it? So, let's just see what happens when we get here. Meet the saviors in the tunnel. So, I think Jade came through this way as well to get to Sector Zero. And we're just following in her footsteps now. Yeah, this, this is the sewers. Alright, it's pretty dark in here now. May encounter a few, a few new enemies, possibly. Knock, knock. Crane? Yeah, that's me. Good to meet you. I'm Hazan. I'm going to be helping you change your scenery. Well, at least these guys inform each other of what's going on. So did you take Jade through too? Who? She's from here. Dark hair, pretty, tough as nails. Uh, maybe. Don't know. We don't always ask names. So I think we're going to be getting escorted to um, Sector Zero. It's going to be dangerous, it seems. That's why this guy's got a gun out. Maybe we should get a pistol out. I feel like this guy's gonna die soon. <laughs> He's gonna sacrifice himself to get us across. So, so far, it doesn't really look like um, they're the ones smuggling. They just know the path to take people across. Maybe um, it's just a secret that they know and they don't want too many people flooding the area in case it gets like overwhelmed. Look, Dad, it's Mr. Crane! 
Ah, this guy. This guy was in the tower. Well, well. Small world. Dawood, we need to talk about your situation. Sorry about the wild goose chase, but I couldn't risk you tailing me. These guys are pretty serious about following their procedures. This isn't fair to Salma. Salma and me are done. That's not the point. So, what is? You got something in mind? I've still got a gun, you know. Crane, we've got the rule. Everybody minds their own business. If you don't follow the rules, you don't go through. <sighs> no problem. So we gave a gun to Dawood in the tower. I think I did that at, like out of recording as a side mission, and he kind of like went crazy, and made a run for it to escape. Okay, from here on out, you're on your own. The route is marked. I'll stay in touch over radio. It's been a pleasure, my friend. Yeah, so these people aren't really escorting, they're just controlling who goes in and who goes out. We need to do this one by one, and this man needs to go first. But he just got here. We've been here for hours. I don't make the rules. Wait here. Oh. Okay, so one at a time. Who are these people? I mean, this place that we're going to must be safe then. If everyone wants to go there, they want to escape. Oh god, I'm on the water. Can we breathe at the top of it? No, just swim. Just hope we don't run out of oxygen. Am I going the right way? I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> oh my god, there's dead bodies under here. Are these people that tried to escape and just died instantly? <laughs> Alright, so it's pretty dark down here. So there is a specific route we need to take to get out of here. Um. What is the route? I think we may have to climb up. So, starting from this side, where we can actually stand on a platform, maybe. Okay. I know we can grab onto the yellow. Oh, here we go. We can grab, grab onto this. Go around, grab onto the yellow pipe. I think there's a. Um, can we jump higher? Here we go. You gotta jump across there? What, there was kids back there. How the hell are they gonna jump that? You kidding me? Maybe that's what the rope's for. <laughs> nice, made it. So if people want to escape this way, it must be safe, right? It must be better than where, where we've come from. Let's grab onto the ladder in case. It's a okay. We tried to keep the route clear, but there may be some infected here and there. Shouldn't be a problem for you though. Maybe we may as well open this while we're here. Well, what was that? A billhook blade. Looks pretty sharp. I think that actually does more damage than this weapon, and this weapon's been modified. So that's a pretty good weapon right there. We might use that soon. Break your legs. Oh, we killed it in one blow. That was good. So I got this new skill now where I can spin, slide, and kick zombies in the legs, and you break the legs so they can't stand up. And then we can stomp on the heads. It's a good way to save, you know, your weapon. So I don't think we need to kill these, just in the way a little bit. Let's just run around them. We'll kill them when there's loads of them in the way, but if there's only one or two, we'll just jump around. So, okay, there's quite a few um, sprinters there. So we have to kill these guys now. Realized I ran out of stamina. The guy said there's a few runners left. Or zombies. This is not a few. This is a shitload. Okay. I think most of the dangerous ones are dead. We got the big guy there. We may have to kill that guy. Um, I think we can make Molotov cocktails. Let's try that. I've never made one. So. Molotovs, there we go. I've never tried Molotovs. I think we should try it now. Alright, so we got some Molotovs now. Let's try this. There's quite a few of them punched down there. Let's burn them. If we can kill at least the, the, all the small ones, the normal zombies. Now we've just got the big guy left. Is it worth shooting him? You know what, I don't want to make too much noise, so let's just go for the, um, the melee weapon. 
Whoa. My god, the range on that. Alright, he's down now. Give me your money. Got this one zombie behind the thing going quite crazy, so I think it's worth shooting this guy in the face. There we go. We've got a bloater back there. He's gonna blow himself up. There we go. Alright, now we can open the up the um, the gate. This baseball bat had quite high damage on it, and it doesn't feel like it's that effective. I feel like bladed weapons are the best. You know, like machetes and stuff. They just feel like you're hacking at the neck and you just take the heads off. Really easy, but with the blunt weapons, you've obviously got to like, crush the heads. Like so, explode the heads. It feels more be like more fun and um, effective using a blade. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, that's a few more zombies cleared out. Let's heal ourselves up now. Body just moved. There's some rifle ammo we just picked up there. Another box we can open. Maybe there's another good weapon in here. There we go, another nice chef's knife. It's not as good, but it's um so I think that's quite short range that as well. Alright guys, this is a dead end in this room, so we need to go out backtrack a little bit and um see if we can get up higher. There we go, there's, a, there's an arrow pointing up there, so if we climb up here, go around the top. I mean, the, those other people that were behind us that are coming this way as well. I'm sure they, they've got no chance. Like, well, I'm clearing the way, aren't I? So I'm sure once I've cleared this, they'll be alright. <laughs> but this group of people that are meant to be doing this, the smugglers, you know, they're not doing a good job, are they? Of keeping it clear and ready for people to be evacuated. Alright, so I think we need to go back, back up again from where we just jumped down. Make our way around the edges of these pipes. And to get to the opposite side on the upper level. So what have we got from here? I think we can kind of maybe can we climb we can climb up on top of this. Maybe walk back a little bit. Whoa, it's a bit wobbly. And jump across onto that platform. Whoa, this made it nice. Alright, so this is a pretty long route, isn't it? This is long. Now I need to go along that platform, the yellow one, to get up over there. Let's try this jump. Easy. So we're starting to see daylight at least. Whoa, I didn't even mean to jump up here. Is it worth going across this way? You can't. Alright, so it looks like we're going down into this tube. Let's slide down, maybe. Yep. Hey, friend. Sorry, but uh, I had no choice. Rise has me by the balls. What? What did you do? What I had to. <laughs> what can I say? The world is an unforgiving place. So that's Hazan. That was the guy I think that told us to come down here. So maybe he's led us the wrong way. He's actually sent us down and like. The way that guy pulled up the grid at the start, maybe that was not even the way to go. He's just completely screwed us over. So we're like, we've no turning back now, we've got to keep going. What is, what is damaging me? What the hell is that? I made a mistake. Alright then. We're at this tube again at the top of it. I think we did need to jump down. I'm not sure if there was fish in the water then, like eating us, or, or what the hell it was. Or maybe it was people with guns. It says, it says survive the ambush. Yeah, we're getting shot. Alright, so there's gotta be something we can do jumping in this tube, like a route to take where we don't get killed. So we'll just have to jump down again. 
Maybe just swim for it, just stay low, so the bullets don't hit us as much. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. See, we're not actually losing any health this time, because we're staying low. So they're just trying to kill us, like, because his um, rise has paid them off. So hopefully this guy can hold his breath for a while, because we've been under for quite some time now. Alright, where are we going? Need to... Uh, uh. Can we get our breath at the top here? Yeah, we can. Okay, it's a little safe spot. And um, we can jump up there. Looks like we're going to have to kill all the people now. Come out the end. You know, get our guns out. Let's get the, um, the police rifle equipped. Because we've got quite a lot of bullets with this gun now. Now we're going to have to take out all the Rises men. So I think it's not even Rises men, it's the other guys men. But they've been paid to kill me. By Rise. Alright. Shooting time. Where are they? There's one over there. The aiming in this game is not as easy as it is in like, you know, games like Call of Duty. Because um, you have to aim down the sight on R3, like the old school way that it used to be. And games on the, on the PlayStation 3 when they first came out. So there's quite a few men here. There's a guy on the left there. Find your way to Zector Zero now. I think we should be able to pick up all these ammo as well. Military rifle. We got a police rifle, I think. Let me just see if that's any different. Switch it out. Equip it. It looks a little bit different, maybe. I'm not going to bother looting all these corpses. Um, we just need to find a way now to Sector Zero. Let's see if we can go this way with the door opened. There's a ladder up here. Looks like we can actually escape this side now. There's quite a lot of daylight up here. Well, it's not daylight, is it? It's, uh, I think it's bulbs. But we're getting close to the surface, at least. Alright, guys. I just looted a few boxes just in this um, room. Just because, you know, it's always good to loot stuff. Whatever you loot like, early on in the game will help you later on. It's always good to be stocked up on stuff. So, oh, hello. Oh, shit, where are they? How long are we supposed to wait for them? As long as it takes. Relax. You got something better to do? Just quiet. I okay. Something. I've been spotted. Holy shit. No. Yeah, this gun is different. It's more, it's got a faster fire rate. I think the police rifle might actually be better. It's more accurate, it seems. Do you copy? Crane here. What's going on, mate? Tell everyone to stay away from the saviors. They sold me out to Rice. I barely made it out alive. Shit. I hope you're okay. Be sure to contact Troy when you get to Sector Zero. She's the only friendly face you have over there. Got it. Will do. Keep your fingers crossed for me. So there's a lot of enemies in this um, this section of the game. Sector Zero. Just need to find a way out of this little base. Looks like we just come up into like the middle of a mansion. And this is where all these... Rises men are like sitting. Leaving the building. And this is Sector Zero. Looks a, a bit more built up. You know, it's more taller buildings. Towers as well. Nothing. Jade? It's Crane. Do you copy? Jade? It's Crane. Can you hear me? Damn it. Alright. It's time for some local talent. Troy, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane? It's great to hear from you. What can I help you with? Yeah, I'm in your neck of the woods now, and I'd love to put our heads together. Where can I find you? You're here? In the Zero? Fantastic. Have you seen a pair of towers, one taller than the other, with scaffolding around them? We call that our loft. Head that way and we'll be waiting. 
Nice, that's how over there, I guess. He's got scaffolding on. Dr. Camden, do you copy? Crane here. Camden, can you hear me? Crane? Yes, yes, I hear you. What's going on? When Sector Zero, is Jade with you? No, she hasn't been able to reach me yet. And even if she does manage to get here, it won't be easy getting in. I had to barricade myself inside because of Rise and his thugs. You okay? I'm inside my lab, but safe. You coming my way? Not yet, Doctor. First, I have to find Jade and recover Zera's research. Okay, I'll sit tight then. Not like there's anywhere for me to go. Be careful out there, Crane. Alright then, so we do have some allies that we've actually never met before. Hopefully Troy is um, pretty cool, because we've only spoke to her over the radio, and Dr. Camden is Zera's friend. And there's some planes flying over. That's not good. It could be like an airstrike. <laughs> Gotta be careful we don't get bombed. Alright guys, we're going to actually end it here, and we'll make our way towards that tower. The loft it's called. In the next part, we'll meet up with Troy, see if she can help us out. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.